It's only three miles per hour shy of what they did in single car time trials earlier today. And now for the first time, we reach the 130 mile per hour tier. Yes, so now they're going to have the entire lap to make that pass. Oh, oh, spin in the back. That is Euro Racing heavy impact into the inside wall. And that means by default, Toom will advance to the championship. But heartbreak for Euro Racing, an accident coming off of turn two on the formation lap. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know if they lost control or if something happened with the vehicle, but they definitely uh, hit pretty heavily in the, in the side of the vehicle there. Well, so. talking to the teams, they said expect to see a crash or two as the speeds ramp up. And everyone said that 130 mile per hour threshold, that's where things start to get difficult. Watch the car in the back of the screen. Kind of went up the track and then it corrected and lost it. So I'm not really sure if that was a control issue or if there was something with the car there and their guidance system, but uh, certainly are done for the day. That is as heavy as a crash as we've seen uh, the entire time that we've been here. Yep, definitely so. We saw Virginia crash hard yesterday. Unfortunately, it uh, had some adverse effects. They were able to source a spare chassis. They were out practicing this morning and had a crash in practice in the uh, black and gold team's car that they had set up to participate with, and that ruled them out of the competition. They were set to be one of the four in time trials, one of uh, four from Group A that had demonstrated the ability to make overtakes in the practice leading up to this that automatically qualified them for the competition, and it's heartbreaking for them that they never got a chance to, to test themselves in competition. Here's another look at the accident, Rob. Yeah, it's like they started heading toward the outside wall and then they made a correction and maybe just overcorrected and hit pretty hard there. Um, it's a very fixable car. Uh, that's a nice thing about Delara. They know how to make these cars that are, that are pretty easily fixable. You know, they're just gonna have to fix all four corners there, but, um, but it, it's uh, definitely game over for them today. It's certainly uh, unfortunate to see. It's gonna take a little while to clean up the wall there. And you can see Toom stop on the front straightaway. That's exactly what they're supposed to do, race control, whatever radio to them to, to just stop their vehicle and they'll go retrieve that. Uh, and recover it for later, and then they'll start to, to clean this up and I guess get ready for the final round. Katie, what's the word in the pits? Well, obviously, unfortunately, TII Euro Racing will not be advancing to the finals now. Marco, we've talked all week long how this has really been a roller coaster of a week for your team. It has now come to an end. It has been, yes. A lot of like electronics and mechanical problems. Uh, we still don't know what happened here. We were going like a slower speed than what we showed earlier today. So. I don't know what happened, so we, we should check the log and understand what was the cause. Anyway, I would really like to thank very much our guys and our big partner, TII. It was like a great experience and come to go back again for other challenges. What's next for your team? 